Hello guys and welcome back. So in this section we'll talk about subjects and how we can use them to send uh, or share data across multiple components in an Angular application. Okay, so subjects are special types of observables in a way that they can act both as an observer and as an observable. Okay, so subjects can basically be used to push new changes to an observable and then they can also be used as an observable to subscribe to new changes okay so it basically acts as a bridge or a proxy between the source observable and many observers that are um, listening for changes on that source okay so this is something that can be used for sharing data and we'll see shortly how that can be done okay so we have our uh, application here I'll just um, open the new terminal. I'll just make the text a bit short and let's create uh, three new components in this case ng, g for generate, g for component, and in the components folder, I'm going to create a parent component along with components one and component two. Okay, now I'll just close all the other files and I'll open the app routing module here so that I could create another route. This route is going to be a parent route, okay, which doesn't redirect but it opens up a parent component or loads the parent component onto the router outlet, and in the parent component that we have here we'll add the two components app hyphen one and app hyphen two like so and save this okay now i'll also add a link to the component or the I'll just maximize this again and I'll add this link that says parent and this should open parent like so. Okay, so if I go back to the application now, I should see a parent here that has two one uh, and two works printed onto the screen. So the uh, components are being loaded. Okay, now what I will do is add some code to it okay um, I will be using a property from the user service in these two components so let's say I had a property here private it's private in nature I'll call it prop okay which is eventually a string and then this property I'll specify the value as foo. Then I can define two methods here get prop that is going to return a string. And as you might have guessed, we are going to return this dot prop. And there's also a set prop that is going to return void, but this dot prop is going to be set with a prop that is received in here so of type string but this returns a void all right okay now in the component one i'll add this as a dependency so private user service which is of type user service i'll import it and then in this i'll I'll also define a prop which is of type string but this prop is coming from the user services get prop method okay I'll copy the same code here in the component 2 as well like so I'll have to import this so, 
I did that and now in the template I'll specify h4 um, component 1 and in the in nh5 I'll specify value of prop is and then I'll uh, interpolate the value of prop like so okay I'll copy this uh, template here and paste it in here like so and instead of one else enter two okay so now in this case we should have two components component one and component two both with a prop of foo okay now I created a set prop value a set prop method as well so that I could change the value of this in here so I'll, I'll use a button change prop to bar and I'll handle the click event of it I'll call a change prop in here like so and then I'll copy this save it and then here <coughs> I'll call this dot user service dot um, set prop and I'll set it to bar like so. Okay, if I go back, I'll have a button here, but if I click on it, the value of the service might have changed. Uh, the value of property in that service might have changed to bar but I don't really see that change getting reflected in here okay what if I wanted to uh, get that change getting reflected here right away in that case I could use a behavior subject okay so let's in the user service create a behavior subject this is going to be public in nature because there is something that I'll be accessing in the component 1 and 2 as well. So I'll create prop changed which is of type behavior subject and now behavior subject is um, a generic type. So I'll specify a string as a generic type here and then I'll new this up to behavior subject of type string and to its constructor I can pass some value some um, default value so I'll pass this dot prop okay and now in the components 1 and 2 in the ng on init instead of using the get props method I'll use the prop changed and then subscribe to it okay so this is how we are using it as an observable okay so this will get a prop that i can eventually give out to the prop that we have in here like so okay and then we can do the same thing for this as well and save it in the component 2 as well okay uh, let's go back to the application and see what's happening now so if I click on change prop to bar then still I'm seeing the two old values here okay because I subscribed for new values but I didn't really push new values to that observable so that is something that is remaining and I'll do it right now so in the set prop when the property is changed then I should push new value to that observable so that whoever are listening to it are aware that okay a new value is pushed and to do that to push new changes to an observable I'll use the next method on this and then I'll specify the value of prop that we had here okay now if I save this and go back <coughs> if I click on the change prop to bar then the value here as well as the value here both changes to bar if I reload this and show that to you guys again 
right now the value is foo in both the cases but i click if i click on the button then this is going to change to bar okay so this is how you can use uh, behavior subjects to share some data and get the changes reflected right away whenever there is some change in a particular data okay uh, now again since this is an observable we can see that it's a never ending observable so the complete method of it is never going to get called okay first let's log the error to the console if there is any got an error as okay and finally this let's alert this one the let's say this like so okay now this observable is never going to get complete so to prove that let's see if we click on the button n number of times we'll never see the uh, this message getting uh, alerted out okay so even if i tap it n number of times the property is going to change here but we are not going to see any alert here okay which means that this is an observable that is never going to end okay but uh, we should unsubscribe to observables whenever this particular uh, uh, component is going to um, you know be destroyed so we should keep that in mind so we should use the ng on destroy life cycle hook that is provided by angular and then we should unsubscribe to the subscription okay so first we'll have to save the subscription somewhere okay so i'll um, create a property here named subscription which is of type subscription okay i'll get rid of uh, subscribable i don't really need it okay now in here i'll just specify this dot subscription equal to this and then in the ng on destroy lifecycle hook you can simply unsubscribe by calling a method named unsubscribe on the subscription like so okay and that's how i can avoid any memory leaks if uh, it is creating any okay so that was all regarding uh, subjects uh, and that is all regarding the set the the section four of this training now in the next section we'll talk about things like uh, directives pipes and eventually forms as well so i'll see you guys in the next section bye